My name is Manuela Mordhorst and I'm based near Hamburg in Germany. I'm a multidisciplinary artist. The starting point of my work are my observations of nature, such as structures and movement in vegetation, water, earth and sky. These observations are constantly mixed with the self-perception of the self as a part of a landscape body in the process of becoming, but also as the stranger in it, which is always reinventing itself between symbiosis and individuation. Intensive engagement with the diversity of nature also always means penetrating different layers. What is hidden beneath the surface, beneath the growing light of the morning, the wandering surge of the sea, beneath the mossy green of sprinkled earth, what beckons us from the repetition of ebb and flow, sunrise and sunset of irretrievable beauty? Looking with all my senses, I follow the curves of the archipelago, polished by the ice, as well as the lurching borders of the salt marshes, which equally invite the observer into the depths. The delicate boundary between land and sea, between sky and water, and the elements meeting also touches our boundary between self and world, and the ever new boundary between the familiar and the different. I see my works as subjective moments as much as resonant spaces in which the landscape body bears witness to human experience and gives questions to which we may expose ourselves. What will I become amid jagged cliffs, lashing storm tides and delicate dawns on the horizon? What will the breathing landscape beneath my steps become? Which structures do I recognize only with my hands and the soles of my feet as structures of being and which images of merging elements sink into my soul as symbols of tomorrow? I work primarily with natural materials, gladly also such which I collect or manufacture myself, as for example pigments. The material itself often acts as an impulse generator or propellant to which I have to adapt flexibly and whose ideas I have to follow. Thus, I also combine painting with object art, works on paper with collage and gilding work, and again and again I experiment anew to engage with the strange, which calls me out of the familiar and reminds me that everything is in motion. Mostly, I choose the subject with which I want to deal artistically in advance. The rest results purely intuitively and by the materials such as marble dust, which are not always controllable and are also subject to drying phases that take time. For the Lacuna Festival 2022, with the theme Clash, I applied with works from my work series Terra. This is characterized by a natural looking design on wood, which was processed with Japanese paper on it and pigments and oil. Elevations of the earth are rep represented here by the Japanese paper. The warm tones could symbolize the power of our planet or the struggle that the earth has to fight for its survival. Which colors I choose, which materials are used, I always decide from the moment. I have been dealing with art for as long as I can remember. I come from a musical and artistic family in which writing, photography, painting, music etc. have always played a big role and have been an integral part of my upbringing. As a teenager I began to draw more seriously and with the help of workshops and private teachers I explored different genres and techniques of painting. From representational painting I switched to abstract art around 2008 and since then I am on my own inner journey of intuitively expression with different materials and possibilities 
of visual art. First of all, I would like to say that my motivation to participate in the Lacuna Festival 2022 is the aspect of presenting myself internationally. I find it exciting to work together on a theme worldwide and at the same time to unite the most diverse interpretations of the theme clash. The unifying idea behind it appealed to me very much. I am also happy to have been selected and to be able to participate in this festival. Secondly, we are in the midst of climate change. Polar ice caps and glaciers are melting, sea levels are rising, floods and storms are destroying people's belongings, rising temperatures are encouraging the spread of diseases such as malaria and prolonged droughts or torrential rain are reducing and destroying harvests. The consequences of climate change hit people living in poverty and developing countries the hardest, even though they have hardly contributed to this crisis. Climate change is already affecting the livelihoods and food security of millions of people, and it is those who cause it least who are most affected. Climate-related disasters, droughts, floods, tsunamis, etc. mostly affect the global south, and are already among the strongest drivers of poverty and inequality worldwide. Global warming and its consequences are becoming more and more visible. Often this is also exactly the theme of my art, which is why I have applied with these three artworks, Terra 1, 2, 3. I want to draw attention, sensitize for the fragile ecosystem of the earth, the man-made climate change caused by excessive waste, emissions of combustibles. The maximum industrialized world is a topic that cannot be closed and more than ever it is important to draw attention to what struggle we fight inside and outside, to check ourselves individually and to be the change that we want yet. In these times, however, not only climate change is a problem, but also global wars. 274 million people worldwide will be dependent on humanitarian aid in 2022. From Afghanistan to Ethiopia and Yemen to Myanmar and Syria and most recently the war in Ukraine. The global situation touches us all. At the same time, the world situation exposes how much fighting is going on everywhere. Survival is becoming an increasingly important issue on all levels. So what can art do? Can art draw attention? I participate in this festival because I want to believe in a community which connects and unites, that makes a statement of peace and freedom, a hopeful light in these dark times. I wish that we as a community contribute to mindfulness. The theme of clash has probably never been more important.